Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Soren here today with another tutorial. Today we're going to be going over something that's called a null object or a null layer, uh, whatever you want to call it. But essentially what it is, if you've never heard of it before, is a layer that does not have any visuals. It has uh, more or less a value of zero and it's just really holding numbers for other layers. So by itself, it's it's useless, completely useless. But with other things, it's, uh, it's very good. And uh, I think it's something that new editors don't use as often as they should or they don't learn about it quick enough. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the two main uses that I use it for. So I use it as either a unified anchor point for multiple layers, or you can use it in, in lieu of a, a 3D camera. It's going to be a lot easier on your computer. It does lack some of the capabilities, obviously, dealing with things like depth of depth of field and, um, and having a point of interest and stuff like that. But it's really good if you're doing simple stuff. So right here, I have a, a little scene set up. We got front, mid, and back. That's just dealing with the Z coordinates of these. So the front text is close, closer to you, I guess. Uh, mid is in the middle and the back is in the furthest back. So if we just highlight all of the, the layers right here and try to move their position around, they're, they're just moving like that. And if you wanted to do a uh, keyframe position and, and anything that deals with that, you'd have to go through and individually do it on all the layers. But using a null layer, you're gonna be able to control them all at once and uh, be able, like I said, to have a sort of a unified source. So we're going to go up here to layer up at the top, new, and then null object. And then to make this uh, be able to control 3D layers, just going to go down here and select the, the 3D checkbox. If this isn't here, make sure you hit toggle switches and mode, and uh, it should come up. Now you're going to select our three text layers or whatever 3D you want, and get the pick whip tool, that's a little swirly thing here under the parent tab and drag it over to the null. All right, now that you got that, we don't need to deal with any more keyframes inside of these three layers, only with the null. So you're gonna get onto the null layer, hit P for position, and now you're gonna be able to control them all at once just with one set of keyframes. So you see it has the parallax, parallax effect going. So the thing that's closer to us is moving uh, a lot more rapidly than comparison to something that's in the middle or in the back. You know, same thing goes with all of these. You know, moving forward, moving back. I think you uh, you get the point. <clears throat> so this is something like I said, it's really easy on your computer, uh, and it doesn't take much to get into. So you can control this stuff, you know, rotation, things like that. You get to rotate. See, and uh, as you can see here, the coordinate of the null was at zero zero zero, and the midpoint here was starting at zero Z, so that's right at the origin, so that way you don't see it moving around too much, but the front and stuff is, uh, the front and back are further away from the origin, so they're moving quite a bit. So that's the first use of it. Uh, this is really easy for motion graphics, stuff like that, things where you don't exactly need a full-on 3D camera. And our next one is having it as a unified anchor point. This is good for more 2D stuff. Like I said, we have two 2D layers here. And so you see, if I go ahead and select both of these and try to move each of their keyframes individually, they're both moving from their own anchor points, which is found in the bottom left of their respective layers. And so if I want to scale up, they both kind of scale like that and they overlap each other. But if I use a null object, it's going to have the same anchor point here in the middle, and the text will have more an effect of, say, they were in a pre-composition or if they're on the same layer. So we're going to do the same process here and select both of our layers and pick whip them over to the null, go into our null layer, hit scale, and then now when I scale up this one keyframe, they both scale in unison, all from that middle anchor point. And then now they're not overlapping each other, and uh, you know they're kind of moving as one without having to make a pre-composition. And then same thing goes, you know, if you need to rotate or something, they can rotate around just the one point in the middle instead of individually rotating around on their own. All right, so this is just uh, a basic intro to null layers. There's a lot of different things you can do with it. This is uh, a lot of ways to get really creative with the way you do your transitions and things like that. That way you can have multiple layers moving around multiple different points within within your, your project. That way you get some sort of, some more unique feels to your edits and or whatever you're doing. But anyway, guys, if you have any other suggestions for tutorials you want to see in the future, make sure you drop them down in the comments below. Leave a like on the video. I'm Soren and I'm out. Thank you.